Aloha. Welcome. It's time for another hula with Halau Napua Hala Kuno Kai. My name is Kumu Kanoi, and we are so excited to be joining you from Nu'uanu Valley. That was the live shot from our home here on the island of Oahu. Um, and it's a beautiful day. I think I say that every week. It's a beautiful day in Hawaii. A beautiful day for hula. I'm so glad you're here. We're ready to learn, and we have another new verse this week. So, Maki Ailana is our chosen hula, and we have already covered three verses. And so, we're coming up on verse four this week, and then we'll finish verse five next week, and then we'll be po with this one. This month, I don't know about you, but for me, this month has been flying by. I don't know where the weeks and days have gone, but. I'm so happy that you are here joining us again. We've got lots to review. We'll review verse 1, 2, and 3 before we get into our brand new verse. So I think it's time. Aloha, ano ai ke aloha. Welcome back. Before we get started, I want to make sure we say aloha and welcome to all of you that are joining us live. So I see already in the comments, Patricia is raring to go. She's always one of the first to tune in. Uncle Frank and Auntie Mary, aloha no in Kalepony, California. Veronica joining us from Mexico. Hui, aloha. Wendy is right here on the island of Oahu, St. Louis Heights. I was actually just up there earlier today. I thought of swinging by your house and stealing some of that gorgeous poor Kenny Kenny that I had last week. <laughs> nice to see you. Michelle Vaughn, aloha. Arlene Stallman, I'm glad you're here too. Sharon Tanaka is also from Oahu. She's from the Manoa area, just a few valleys over. Barbara, also from Hawaii, but Kailua Kona. We're going to be heading to your island, in fact. Uh, Cyan is joining us from Aiea. Laura Puente Marino from Mexico City. Catherine Romanow from Kelowna, BC. Norie Naganawa from Jifu, Japan. Oh, I'm glad you like my dress. Yeah, I just picked up new rentals from my dear friend Marion over at Mu'umu'u Mama's. So this is, um, it's actually tagless. I saw there was, there used to be a tag, so it's not homemade but the tag fell off. It's so old. They don't know who made this mu'u, but I just really love it. The neckline is kind of a boat neckline, so I didn't want to wear a lei because it was kind of competing. So anyways, oh, Barbara, I'll touch base with you. We're coming to Hawaii Island in August, August, in August. And Rie in Kurashiki, nice to see you. Rosalinda from Florida and Joey from Pearl City, I think. Pearl City, right, Joey? Am I wrong? I don't know. Okay. Also from the island of Oahu. It's great to have you folks. We have quite the gang today. So, anyhow, uh, we are going to jump back into Maki Ailana. But before we do, last week, I mentioned my favorite version of this is recorded by the Brothers Casimero. And I think Luke, who's behind the camera, my husband, Luke, he um, put the link to the YouTube of their version in last week. So maybe he can do that again. Um, he'll put the link for my favorite version. Of course, you should not just take it off of YouTube. You should purchase their music and support um, Robert and, and the late Roland Casimero. So um, th it's my favorite version. And at the beginning of that recording, there are two voices that are very familiar to those of us who live here in Hawaii. They're two, shall we say, Hawaiian language celebrities. And one of them is Kumuhula Manu Boyd. And Manu Boyd is a student of Robert Casimero's and a Hawaiian language teacher and scholar um, and comes from a long line of Hawaiian musicians. So he is the male voice. And then the female voice that you'll hear if you go to that YouTube link, her name is Ekela Kaneo P.O. Crozier, and she is one of the very first kumu 
to um, you know to help with the starting of the Punana Leo and um, you know the Hawaiian language movement. And she actually had a show that used to be on TV um, that is now all on YouTube teaching Hawaiian language. So I know some of you folks even study the Hawaiian language. I know Monica from Hungary has been studying with um, Akela Kani Alpi Crozier, even all these decades later, those shows are available and you can learn Hawaiian language on YouTube from Akela. That is the voice that you hear. So this whole song that we're learning is about two lovers. Now I can tell you probably for a fact that those are not actual lovers, but they play the part pretty well. Uh, but I wanted to share with you a little bit about what they're saying because those are not translated in the liner notes of the album. So here are the lyrics or the, I guess, the words that they speak at the beginning of that recording. So the gentleman says, Hooey. And you probably have heard me say that 10,000 times because that's how we greet one another in Hawaii. The more formal way of, would be, of course, to say aloha or, um, you know, just to share a greeting that way. But if you just say, Hooey, it's like, Hey, you, are you there? Are you listening? Hooey. Yep. And then the next part, a nay, means you over there or you over here or hey, you. It's basically you there. Yeah. So it says, hey, you there. Then the next part, ano ai, is another word for greeting. It means the same thing as aloha. So it, when it says ano ai ke aloha, that means greetings with the love greetings with love so the gentleman says Hui, e nei, ano ai ke aloha. and then the female voice answers she says oh i aloha no she's a little surprised she's, oh she's oh, kind of surprised i means yes aloha no means greetings or love indeed yeah then the gentleman says hele ana o i ke la aina no ho i ka vai. So hele means going. O, A-U, means me. Hele anao means I am going. Hele anao. I kela aina. He's going to, sorry, kela aina. He's going to that land far in the distance. Not like a plane trip away, but like over yonder. Yeah? Hele anao. I kela aina. Noho i kavai. Noho means to sit or to live. In this case, he's saying that the land looks like it's seeded or sunken in to the vai or the fresh water, right? So he's telling her, oh, I'm going over there to that, that land that sinks down into the water. And she says to him, Iheo? Which means, wait, where? Where are you going? And he says, Kela Ailana, that far island. Io, way over there. Ikapa ia o maki. It's named or it's called maki. So that island that is given its name, maki. And she kind of gives him a wink, wink. Aye. All right. Let's go there together. <laughs> Anyways, um, I twisted his arm and my husband, Luke, said that he will do this little dialogue with me. So please give a warm welcome to the man behind the camera. Burr, 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 burr. Welcome, Luke. You get to be Akela. Just kidding. You can be Manu Boy. <laughs> okay. So give it up. All Hello. right. Hello. Okay. Hello. Are you ready? Sure. Here we go. Yeah. We probably shouldn't be this close together. It's like, you know, they're not quite <laughs> sure at the beginning because she's like, where are you going? You're going to take me on a date. Where? Okay, ready? Let's right. give it a try. Hey, my new boy has big shoes to fill, so I'm trying to go. I don't know his shoe size, but <laughs> I'll <Sure>. trust you. Hui! Hey, nay! I know I can aloha. Oh, I. Aloha, no. Hele ana o i kela aina noho i ka vai. I hea? Kela aina i o. I kapa ia o maki. Ai. Pretty good. Yay! Yay. All right, I'll go on a date with him, I guess. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Come on. So handsome. Of course, wherever. 
All right, so that is the little dialogue that happens at the beginning of the recording. If you're just tuning in and you're wondering what is happening here, the version of the song that I like to use has this little dialogue that's recorded by not the recording artists themselves, but by two of their very dear friends, Manu Boyd and Akela Kaneopio Okoja. And so that's the dialogue. I just wanted you to know what it was about. It's kind of like a, like a pickup line, basically. It's like, hey, you want to go over to that island? Not so smooth. Yes, yes, I do. Yay, you got some applause from Norie. I'm glad. Okay, so now we will get into a little bit of basics. I just want to cover three basic hula steps before we go over the verses. Um, Two of them are super simple. We've done them a million times. The first one, of course, is the kaholo. The kaholo step, you're going to put your two hands on your waist. Um, I tell my kids, fingers to the front and hide your thumbs behind your back. And the kaholo is going to be a four-count vamp. So we're going to take four steps to the right and then four steps to the left. So bend your knees down. Let's take four steps. Ready, go. Right, together, right, tap, left, together, left, tap. Right, together, right, tap, left, together, left, tap. That's it. Now, I'm going to lose this slide so that you can just see the full screen version of me. Um, the kaholo in this particular song goes all over the place. Sometimes it's side to side, but sometimes it's forward and back. So let's do this. We're going to kaholo to the right, kaholo to the left, kaholo imua, which means forward or towards the, towards the audience, me. And then ihope back. Okay, so ready, set, here we go. Kaholo to the right and kaholo to imua. Going forward to the right and back to the left. One more time. Ready, go to the right. Two, three, and left to imua. Going forward and then towards the back. Very good. Yeah? So in this hula, we kind of get to turn all different ways. Sometimes our kaholo is facing sideways, diagonal. Just kind of go with the flow, right? This is all about going with the flow, going along for the ride. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one is the ka'o or the sway. So here's the ka'o. You're going to put your hands on your waist, and you're just going to sway your hips side to side. You can put the slide up for this one. Ka'o left, ka'o right. And left, ka'o, right, left, right, and left. Now, I want to show you the vavai cam, which will show you my feet and how much my heels are actually going to stay placed down on the ground. So when I ka'o, of course, the knees are bent. Now, the feet are not really moving at all. It's Everything is happening from, like, the ankles and the hips up. Yeah, the feet are very, very still. What I see sometimes, I'm going to turn to the side so you can see my heels. I see some people pushing like this, pushing off with one heel and popping up with the other, pushing like this. Now, I'm really over-exaggerating. Um, if you look at the full body version of this camera, you'll see when you pedal the, the – can you come up to the regular? Um, when you pedal the heels like that, you'll get sort of a bump in the shoulders. Watch. Yeah. And and I notice especially with younger dancers, they're focusing so much on this heel part. They're not not noticing that there's something very jerky happening up here. So, for our kao, you want to keep your feet flat all the way down and all of the movement is coming side to side and there's nothing jerky about it at all. It's really very fluid in its motion. Okay? So keep that in mind as we do our ka'o. Now, the last step that I want to teach you is called the uwehe. Now, we have actually done the uwehe before recently with the step that's called lele uwehe. So the lele uwehe is going to be a step to the side, a point of the foot, and bring the feet together. Then you lift the heels. Again, step to the side. I'm going to move back a little bit. Front, together, and uwehe. So that's a lele Uwehe. There's other versions of the lele uwehe that looks like this. Step, no point, together, uwehe. Step, no point, together, uwehe. Just drag and together, uwehe. Drag and together, uwehe. Now, for this version, we're not going to call it lele uwehe. We're gonna, actually just going to call it a step 
Ueje. Okay, so I know that sounds like what we just did, but let's get rid of those words so that we don't confuse ourselves. This one is just going to be a step ueje. We're going to just step in place. Step ueje. Step ueje. Once again, step ueje. Step ueje. Now, what we're going to do is instead of just stepping in place, we're going to pivot a little bit. So we're going to step with the right foot. Step ueje. Swing around. Step. Uehe. Swing around again, right foot, step, uehe, left foot, step, uehe. Okay, let's check that out with the va cam so that you can see a little bit of what is happening there. Okay, so it's actually the, the foot that's stepping turns first. You're going to step, pivot the back foot, and uehe. Okay, then the foot that's in the back, that's going to be your left foot, is going to step, pivot the right, and uehe. I know that feels a little weird, but that's that you're going to go faster, so it's not going to be so separated. It's going to be step, pivot, uehe, step, pivot, uehe, step, pivot, uehe, step, pivot, uehe. Okay, that's my feet. Very, very close to the camera. Okay, so let's try one more time. We're going to take four going forward. It's a step, uehe, step, uehe, step, uehe, step. Ueh, and if your feet are getting sore, don't worry. We only do two of them, and it's very slow. All right, coming back up, that is the three steps that you're going to need for our fourth verse, which is going to be coming up after we review the first three. Okay, so try and remember those steps. I promise they'll come in handy a little bit later. Okay, so let's check out verse number one, a quick review. By the way, if you're brand new to our live, welcome. Please let us know where you're, you're joining us from. Um, and also, this review will feel very fast, much too fast, in fact. So if you would like to find a replay of just this verse, which was taught for like half an hour and then reviewed over and over and over, you can go back to week one of this series for, um, I, I guess it would be June 1st. Was June 1st a Tuesday? 1, 8, 15, 22. Yes. So June 1st, find our June 1st video and then you'll be able to um, review just the first verse. And then the eighth would be the second verse, 15th would be third verse, and so on and so forth. Okay, so for Maki Island now, we're talking about this Maki Island. Touch your hands to your hip bones or where your hip bones should be deep down. Okay, you're going to make that circular space, Maki Island na. Then you're going to place the island down. Ke Aloha is so beloved. You're going to bring your hands to cross, open, and then it's going to lead you to face to the side. Aina is the land. So both hands are parallel to the ground. Aina ika ehu. And then ehu kai is the sea spray, that salty sea spray. You're going to go from left to right. Sorry, right to left. And then right to left again. Okay, let's try just the hands first. First, ready, go. Maki ailana ke aloha. Turning to the side. Aina ika ehu, ehu o ke kai. Side, front, side, and front. Very good. Now, the feet for that is going to be that kaholo moving forward and back, just like we practiced at the beginning. So let's start with the feet, and then the song starts after. Ready, set, stepping with the right. Maki ailana. Ke aloha la. Turning to the left. Aina. Then this is going to be a O. So right foot is I ka ehu. Then we get kalakawa. Ehu o. Sorry, kavelu holo. Kai. More like a kavelu in place. Sorry, I'm getting all mixed up. Forward and back. Forward and holo. Let's try the whole verse. Da 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 da. Moving forward, maki ailana. Maki ailana ke aloha la. Turning side. Aina ika ehu ehu o ke kai side front. Side and front. Okay, that's the first verse. Let's try just the first verse with the music so I don't have to sing and dance and think all at the same time because that's really too much for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Pao. Polo, hands on the waist. Monkey Island. First repeat. Monkey Island. Island. Starts with the word two, which is elua. So elua ekolu is talking about two or three couples. So just after you finish your vamp and your vamp, this right hand is going to continue right past you to the diagonal, and you're going to do number two, and then it's going to change to three because there were two or three. Couldn't quite remember. Okay. Elua ekolu. Then you're going to flip the palm. No. Then you're going to gather all of your friends. Mako. Then bring it into your chest and ka'o looking side to side. Okay, so let's put the feet to this one right away before we get too far ahead of ourselves. We're going to ka'ohola to the right and left. Ready, set, here we go to the right. Now, before we go on, I want you to notice you're moving to the right, but your hand is to the left. Yeah, so it should feel a little bit like tension opposition. Ready, set, move this way, go. Then you're going to step forward. No. Now this is going to be a sort of a quarter turning kaholo. I call that kaholo au au. Then you're going to kaholo to the right. Then two sways left and right. Okay, let's try one more time. Kaholo to the right while your hand goes to the left. Ready, set. Stepping to the right. Elua e kolu no ma ko ka o ika ilana. We're gonna do the island. So with your left hand, you're gonna draw across your body. Your right hand is locked into your waist at the skinniest part of your waist. You're gonna go from this corner to this corner, parallel to the ground. Then join the right hand to the other side. Now, this is where that lele uehe comes in. Remember we did the lele uehe? There was a step, point together, uehe, step, point together, uehe. Let's add the hands now for the eyeliner. Going to the left first. I know, screw you. Ready, set, here we go. Left, point together, uehe, left, right, point together, uehe. And then we're going to lift. Mahie hie is so charming. Yeah, this island is so very charming. All right, questions? No? Okay. Elua ekolu. Ready, set, here we go to the right. Elua ekolu. Get ready. Kaholo au au. No ma ko. Looking side to side. Lele uehe. Ika ilana. Ma hie hie. Holo to the side and front. Elua one more time. Elua e kolu ka o one and ma ko ka o side to side. Ika aila na ma hie hie. That's it. You guys think that the words on the screen is for you, but it's actually for me because I had no idea what was coming up next. Okay, here we go. Second verse with somebody else singing. Actually, it's still me. Ready? This is our ikai. Okay. Remember from the first verse? Connect it into the second verse now. That's 
it. Then we get to the verse that we did last week. Remember, if that felt fast, there's always replays available on our Facebook or on our YouTube, okay? So you can always go back and check that there. Okay, verse three is the one that we did last week. And this is the one with the three leles. That part is a little bit tricky, so let's pay attention to that. Kaleo means the voice. So your hands are going to come from your lips, straight forward. Kaleo! And then okavai, you're going to wave in the center. This is the fresh water, and then your gonna, hands are going to come out to the side. Then they're going to scoop. Ka'u aloha is the, they are the ones that I so love and adore. And then you're going to open, um, go to the side, to the side, and then in. Okay, so that's the lele that I was talking about. Let's try again. Kaleo, the voice or the sound. Kaleo of the water. Oh, kawai, that I love. Ka'u aloha. One, two, three. Okay. Ika'i mai, it speaks to me. You're going to flip the right hand, palms down. Your left hand, I don't know if you can really see this, but uh, there. One finger is slightly extended. Your pointer finger is slightly extended. The rest of the hand is kind of bent. Can you see that? That's like a very strange angle like that. Yeah? So that's what your, your hand should look like as it's coming from your mouth. Ka'i mai he. Then you're going to bring that left hand to cross. Now, we're saying not love, but cold. So it's a little bit, you know, lift the shoulder. Then you got, the, ooh, it's anu, anu. Over here in um, Hawaii right now, it is not anu, anu. So you really have to imagine what it would feel like to be cold, okay? Bring it in. Anu Then you get your vam. Okaleo from your mouth. Kaleo kawai scoop. Ka'u aloha. Side and side. Ka'i mai he. Anu ka'u. You can put your own flavor to that. Okay, so now the feet to this, mm, a little bit tricky. So kaleo kawai is going to start with kaholo to the right. Ready, mouth out. Kaleo. Kavai, scoop up, still kaholo. Ka'u aloha. Right here, you're going to lele. Step right, step left, step right when you bring your hands in. Okay, so you should be ending up with your foot on the right foot. Your right foot is forward. Okay, ready to kaholo back on the left, on the e mai. Okay. And then right here, this is a ami onil kuku. So you're going to do a figure eight in a triple feet pattern. Switch. One, two, three. So you get three swishes on each side. Then we get the vamp. Da -da 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 I know that was a fast review. Oh, kaleo. Kaleo. Kavai. Kau Right and left. Ika'i mai he. Anu ka ua. Side and front. Side and front. Okay? Let's try it with the music. Because every time I get to that, hey, Luke always laughs at me. So at least he can laugh at the recording. Okay. Here we go. Kaleo. Kaleo. Back to the part. 
which leads into verse number four. Okay. So those are the three individual verses that we have done over the past three weeks. Again, replays are available. Before we rush into verse four, I think it would be wise for us to do verse one, two, and three with music. Yeah, maybe? Let's give it a try. You got this. Long intro, so plenty of time to think. Okay, so let me know how you're doing. You can give me thumbs up or mad face or hearts. Let us know how it's going for you. If you have any questions, also do your best to type out your questions. Let us know which part of the verse. You can either talk about the Hawaiian words or the English translation that I'm sharing with you. Which part is unclear or is there a specific step that I can go over more? Um, the great thing about this being a live class is that we can do stuff like that. So let's make use of it. Okay. So, verse 4 is where we're at right now. And it's actually perfect that we led into today's class with that little dialogue. Because this verse is where it is really, um, let's say, getting hot and heavy for this date at Maki Ailana. So, it says, Ina, Ina means if. O, you sounds like you and it's actually saying you so this is a hawaiianization of an english word and this would have been common at the time that this song was written because of course maki who the island is written for um is a foreigner and spoke english and so it was very common for composers like james k e e to show off their skills of weaving in hawaiian and english into their compositions to show that they had, um, you know, that they were able to, to do that seamlessly. So in this one, it says, Ina o you me me ne. It says, if you were here with me, or the poetically, I wish that you were here with me. So perhaps this is being written after the fact, after the tryst has happened and they're remembering that time together. Okay? So, Ina o you me me ne. Yeah, me, M I is me, and ne just means here. So me ne means me here. That's me. <laughs> okay. So if you were with me here, ne. 
Yeah. Noho oe i kanoho. But we already said um, that noho in another verse meant that the island was sitting or sinking into the water. In this case, they're talking about a seat that was rocking. And I know that when we first introduced this hula, I said, oh, yes, there's a rocking chair in this one. However, the more that I think about this hula and the talking about it, I think that the rocking chair that they're talking about is the seat of the little boat or the little dinghy because Hawaiians had many, many words for certain things like ua is rain, but there's also a whole book of names for rain, right? So there's the ki o and the ha ao and the pa u pili and all of these different words for rain, right? For chair, they didn't have too many different names. So rocking chair is a noho. You know, a, a sofa in a way is a noho. In fact, if you just want to sit on the ground, that's noho. There's no chair there, but the sitting action is called noho. So I'm trying to think, would there really be a rocking chair on this island? Let's show them a picture of, of the, the couples going on the boat. Do you have that boat picture? No, not that one. Okay, look at that. You see this, I, oh, you see this island here? I don't think that there was an actual rocking chair. Can you imagine them bringing a rocking chair on their boat to go to Maki Island? I just can't picture it. But that bench in the middle of the, um, is that what it's called? What is that called? A bench? The bench seat inside of the, the boat? Somebody out there, please. You're like a rower or a paddler, and please help me out. That seat has a special name. Um, but that wood there would have been called a noho. Yeah, that piece of thing that you sit on is going to be called a noho. And the fact that it is pai pai, it's sort of rocking to and fro. Maybe it might be rocking a little bit more sometimes, or a little bit less sometimes. But I think what the composer is saying is, I wish you were seated here with me on this rocking seat, which might have been connected to a boat. Because I just can't picture them having a rocking chair in the middle of... Anyways, I digress. There's probably no rocking chair. Spoiler, sorry, no rocking chair. But there was a chair that rocked, and it sure got you there. All right, so are we here for hula? What's happening? Okay, I just lost my train of thought completely. Oh, yeah, okay. So it says, if you were here with me sitting on this seat that is rocking, nondescript seat, no, generic, no. Okay, let's learn the hula. Come on, move on. <laughs> yes, the motion of rocking, pai pai. Okay, ina o yo. So you're going to holo to the side, just like we have been, your vamp, and then holo to the side. Now, this right hand that's been doing all the work, remember, this is the one that starts with elua. Again, this right hand is going to have to do the work. So ina o yo. I wish that you, you're going to give a little flippy dippy action, okay? So if you over there, yeah, were with me, your left hand is going to leave your tiny, tiny waist, and it's going to come up underneath and grab that hand and then bring it in, yeah? Can you imagine? She's just kind of, oh, woe is me, and he just comes in. Oh, I'll take care of you. Don't worry about that, okay? So that's the feeling that you want. So it's here. In all, oh, you swoop, me, me, ne. And then you're going to, this right hand that's on top is going to go across your chest and the left hand locks back into your waist. Look over to the shoulder, lots of attitude, right? When you're first dating, there's a lot of attitude. Okay, so Ina, from yourself. Ina, what do I know? I've been married 10 years. Oh, you swoop, me, me, ne. Now we get noho. So we're going to place our hands down. We're facing to the 45 degree angle. This is where our step uehe comes in. Noho owe i ka noho. And then pai pai, that rocking action. We're going to get a small rock, a small rock, and then a big old rock to get us back to the vamp. Da 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 me, me, ne, 
sit down. No ho o e e i ka no ho. Pa i pa i. Holo da ba da ba da ba da ba da. Okay? That's the peak of the whole song because after that, ha ima. That's all she wrote. Okay. All right. So now let's add. What is that? <laughs> uh, I'm glad you can't hear the peanut gallery back here. Okay, Ina Oyu is going to start with Kaholo to the right. Ready, holo, right. Ina Oyu. Wait. No. Holo. Ina Oyu. Okay, Memine, he's going to swoop in with one Kao towards the 45 degree angle. Me. Then Kaholo back. Mine. And then a little dip. E. Okay, so there's a lot going on there, but it's really just kaholos and one kaho. Okay? Ina o you, kaholo to the right. Here we go to the right. Ina o you, swoop. Me, me, ne. Okay, here's that step, uehe, step. No ho o e e, ka no ho, small little rock, and then we roll. Something like that, rock and roll. Da 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 da. I mean, but they're on a boat. Ina, Ina, oh, you one swoop. Me, me, ne, e, step, uehe. No ho, e, e, ka no ho. Pa, e, pa, e, holo. Da 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 da. You got to keep it tasteful, okay? So there's two, maybe three places where you want to be subtle. Don't overdo it because then other people will think, wow, hula is very vulgar. We're not vulgar. We're very subtle in our, what is it, courtship, right? Okay, so first place is this one. In all you, when he swoops in, let the swoop be with the hands. It doesn't have to be a full body roll action, okay? Don't come on too strong. Just swoop with the hand. Keep this back. Keep that back, okay? I know. Oh, I just watched the replay. That was ugly. Okay. Ina. Ready, holo to the right. Ina, oh, you subtle. Me, me, ne. Okay, here's the other place where it can go very wrong. So when you go this way, it's just the knees that go you don't want to add the hands or the shoulders or everything okay it's just one step pop the knees and step pop the knees if anything there's a little swing in the hip so you have something else to move you got step uehe, step uehe. but everything up here is just it's like the duck you know underneath the water you swim, ah, and above the water it's like do 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 Okay, so step, uehe, step, uehe. And then, of course, this part can go really wrong if you just rock the boat too much. And then slight and holo. Okay, let's try the whole thing. Dance with me. Ina o you from your chest. Ina o you. Me mi ne e. Step uehe. No ho o e i ka no ho pa i pa i holo side and front and side and front. Okay, you didn't know it was hula slash dating advice. Okay, keep it subtle. Okay, here we go. I ka i ma i he. Oh, 
going to learn that one today we're going to save it wait for it for next week okay so that was ina o you shall we try just that verse again yeah just ina o you my mom just walked by and she goes oh very colorful she wasn't even listening to the last 10 minutes of colorful teaching okay here we go <laughs> First time in all you. For our review at the end today, I'm going to do something that I like to do, which is I'm going to back it up one verse at a time. So since we're up to four verses, and I know that's a lot, asking a lot already, we're going to do, instead of just verse four, like we did just now, we're going to do verse three and then verse four. Okay, so we'll run those two together so that you can kind of knit them together in your mind. After that, we'll do two, three, four, and then we'll do one, two, three, four, and then we'll see how much time we have left. Okay, so first of all, verse number three... Going into verse 4, that is kaleo kavai, going into ina o you. Two times of each verse. Two, two. Kaleo kavai, the voice of the water that I love. Lele imo step forward. Follow back. going to back it up to verse number two. Oh, shucks. Were we on verse three that whole time? Okay. Verse, <laughs> he was mesmerized by the rocking chair. Okay. Verse two now. Remember, this is Elua Ekolu. There are two or three couples there. So here we go. Back to Elua Ekolu. <laughs> uh, yeah, no body roll, please. Okay. Island now or islands. Mahia here is 
Okay, so now we're going to go all the way through from the very beginning. I don't think we had any questions. Probably said too much. That's why I over explain <laughs> some details. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to real quick type them in. We might have time to catch them before we go. But let's now dance Maki Ailana verses one, two, three, and four. Um, and we'll see if we have time to do that two times before we go. Okay, so here we go, all the way from the tippy top. My kino himai. Four kaos to start. Sorry, I was on the wrong foot. Ka holo. question so let's clear the thing and see kumu on the uehe there are three kao hmm. in verse four okay so ina kaholo oh you then one kao me kaholo mine then it's step uehe step Uehe, right here, it's actually two ka'os. You're going to ka'o one to the left, one to the right, and then ka'holo to the left. That's how you get back on the right foot. I hope that helps, Veronica. Try right, one more time. Ina o you, I'll call the steps. Ka'holo. Ina o. Ka'o one time. Me ka'holo. Mine. 
slow lele step no ho no ho just two times sway sway and vamp to the left yeah i hope that helps i know it looks like it could be three kaos there but it's two kaos and a kaholo good question any more okay i think we have time let's do the whole thing one last time before we go all right here we go good luck no hints this time It. but no you have to wait till next week thank you so much for being with us sorry it looks like we went two minutes over i apologize for that but thank you for hanging with us we've made it all the way to verse four just one more verse um and then if you want to come on saturdays we're working on pupu hinu hinu kahuliahu and kananaka so thank you so much for being with here with us here uh keep practicing and until next time ahui home